Hello, my name is Dr. Adam Farber, and I would like to talk to you today about ACL injuries. In order to understand ACL injuries, we must first talk about normal knee anatomy. The knee joint includes the thigh bone, called the femur, marked here by the red arrow, the shin bone, known as the tibia, marked here by the blue arrow, a small bone along the outside of the shin called the fibula, marked here by the green arrow, and the kneecap, called the patella, marked here by the orange arrow. In addition, there are four main ligaments of the knee joint. The medial collateral ligament connects the thigh bone to the shin bone on the inside part of the knee. The lateral collateral ligament connects the thigh bone to the fibula on the outside part of the knee. Finally, the ACL and PCL crisscross in the center of the knee. In this slide, the ACL or anterior cruciate ligament, enclosed by the red circle, is clearly visible in the center of the knee as it crosses diagonally and connects the thigh bone to the shin bone. The ACL functions to help stabilize the knee and prevents the knee from giving out during cutting, twisting, or pivoting activities. This slide shows a schematic representation of an ACL tear as the ligament is torn in its mid portion. ACL tears often occur as a result of a twisting injury to the knee. Patients typically complain of hearing or feeling a pop and notice swelling after the injury. This episode is often associated with significant knee pain. After the pain and swelling from the initial injury subside, patients with ACL tears typically do not complain of knee pain. They do, however, report a sense of instability and get episodes of giving way, especially with twisting or pivoting maneuvers. Unfortunately, the ACL has little to no healing potential. Therefore, if an injury of the ACL occurs, typically surgical treatment is recommended. Because the ACL has limited healing potential, we cannot simply repair the ligament by suturing the ends back together. Rather, we have to reconstruct the ligament by taking a piece of tissue, called a graft, from somewhere else and reattaching it to the end of the femur and tibia and the orientation of the normal ACL in an effort to recreate this ligament. This slide shows a schematic representation of an ACL reconstruction. In the image on the left, bone tunnels are drilled into the ends of the thigh bone and shin bone where the normal ACL should be attached. In the image on the right, a piece of tissue is then inserted into these tunnels to recreate the ACL. This tissue, or graft, used to recreate the ACL can come from one of three different areas. It can come from a cadaver donor tissue. This is usually recommended for older or less active patients. The tissue can also come from your own knee, either from the patellar tendon or the hamstring tendons. This slide shows the normal appearance of the patellar tendon. The patellar tendon, enclosed by the red circle in this slide, connects the kneecap or patella to the shin bone or tibia. If the patellar tendon is to be used for ACL reconstruction, the middle third of the tendon with a piece of bone from both the kneecap and tibia is taken. The patellar tendon graft is shown within the green rectangle in this slide. This slide shows the appearance of a patellar tendon graft after it has been removed and prior to performing the ACL reconstruction. This slide shows the appearance of the hamstring tendons enclosed within the red circle as they run down the inside part of the thigh and connect to the tibia just below the knee. These tendons can be taken to create a soft tissue graft enclosed within the green box, which can then be used for ACL reconstruction. Whatever graft is used can then be inserted into the bone tunnels in both the femur and tibia, which are outlined in the red boxes in this slide, in order to reconstruct and create a new ACL. This graft must heal into place before the new ACL can withstand the necessary forces required to perform twisting and pivoting activities. This process typically takes six to nine months for complete recovery. For further information about ACL tears or ACL reconstruction surgery, please feel free to contact my office at 480-219-3342 or visit my website at phoenixshoulderandknee.com.